Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Monday Night Raw. This is episode 110, and we are only one week away from SummerSlam, folks, here at San Diego, California. Get ready for tag team action. All right, folks, and now we are back. Yes, indeed. So ladies and gentlemen, last week we had Zack Ryder and Shelton Benjamin that was outside of the ring until the count of 10. So the rules have changed for tonight. And this match is going to be a false count anywhere tag team match. Turn it to style. We will have a winner. Okay. Now the reason why the Hardy Boys wait, hold on. And a combined weight of 450 pounds, Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. Anyway, the reason why the Hardy Boys are not having rematch clause is because they, or should I say, the general manager is giving them time off for this month so yeah they'll be having some time also after SummerSlam they will be taking on whoever is the tag team champion it could be the Usos retain or it could be one of these two teams as the newly crowned tag team champions at Spring Shorter which is in September So let's get ready for this match to start, shall we? Here we go, the bell has rung. Look at this, oh, it's Carl Hawkins with the network on Chad Gable and a vertical suplex by Benjamin. So let's see who's gonna win this matchup. Here tonight, oh, Benjamin with the release German suplex to Hawkins. Benjamin, Benjamin, oh, butterfly lung blower. And Chad Gable with the shin breaker. What on Hawkins? Benjamin carrying Ryder. Oh! Well, he's a back slam by Chad. Benjamin with the snap suplex. Look at this, grabs the leg, trips Hawkins. The American standard are taking over this matchup, and oh, look at that, and a high jumping knee strike. Now both men are switching opponents. Oh, wait. Look at this, Hawkins and Ryder fighting back. Obviously, to the corner, Hawkins with the suplex right to Benjamin Ryder. Got Gable up to the top rope, facing the crowd. Oh, look at that standing flatliner by Hawkins. Zack Ryder going for a back superplex off the top and a drop kick by Hawkins. My God. Look at this. Oh, that's the clothesline. And gave Benjamin a Pele. Look at this. Oh, wait, no. Snapmare by Ryder. Hard strip by Benjamin to Hawkins. Pop up. Catapult. Ryder, look at this. Kick to the midsection. And look at this. Oh, the Tiger driver to Benjamin. My goodness. And now look at this. Ryder going for the pin. And a kick out. Chad Gable with a snap suplex. Benjamin has enough. Oh, and a hard chop left to, uh, to uh, Kurt Hawkins. Oh, for the pin, sending Jacob by Gable. And a kick out. And now Gable going for the pin on Ryder. 
Gabe was going for the pin on Ryder. Gabe was going for the pin on Ryder, you freaking goon referee. Doesn't matter. Anyway. Butterfly limb below to Kerr Hawkins. I never seen the ref. Wasn't paying attention for the first time. That was weird. Giving that high knee strike. I suppose this is a false guy anyway, man. None of these guys are not even inside the ring. Give me a second. Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds, Christian!
Oh my goodness. I am so sorry, folks. <laughs> my uh my mic wasn't was off. Anyway, look at this. Got him with the Oh my goodness, almost had it. Even though it was to start at one. But anyway, I know you guys haven't heard me, so I'm gonna say it. Uh oh. Wait a minute, Kristen. Oh! Kristen with the dragon screw. And now look at this. Doing the five second pose. Vintage Kristen. But anyway. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. Kristen seen that coming by Jinder Mahal. As he does the pull down right to the head, right onto the top rope. But anyway, it will be a extreme rules match. That's what the general manager said. For the Women's Championship. Jesus. Between Charlotte Flair and Bianca Belair. My, my. The referee's now at four, folks. Jinder Mahal takes Kristen right back inside that ring. Let's go for the X handle. Kristen counters. Kristen, look at this. And now Kristen with a sleeper hold. But now Jenna Mahal. Jenna Mahal. With those elbows right onto the midsection. And uh, he got him with the snap mate into that sleeper hold chin lock there. Right on to Captain Charisma. And now Christian. Look at this. Uh oh. Christian. Look at this. Oh, and another flapjack. As Jenna Mahal rolls out of the ring. And now look at this. Oh. Gave him the neck backbreaker right there. And now Kristen sends Mahal right back inside of the ring. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Kristen up top. Mahal coming to him. Oh, and a hard punch. Oh wait, Kristen is not taking out lightly. Sends him over the top rope to the apron. Kristen talking trash to Mahal there. And now look at this, Kristen about to go for something. Oh, got him with the bell clap. And now Kristen going for a sit out going to bust the pain homage to his best friend Jeff Hardy. Now Kristen sends Jinder Mahal right back in. Uh oh, Kristen, is he gonna go for that fox splash? Wait a minute, oh, and that fox splash, but it didn't fully connect. Because my heart turned around for the second time for no reason. To be honest, Christian should have waited. Oh, look at that. And a hard kick takes down Christian. By Jinder Mahal. My God. And now Jenna Mahal, look at this. Oh! Did a Cobra Clutch flatliner there. Mahal, look at this. And a stalling suplex. Jenna Mahal, setting this up. Kristen leaning against the ropes. And now a stomp right onto the chest. My God. Look at this. Oh, wait, he got the foot. Oh, takes him down. Oh, Christian. Christian, look at this. Oh, got him with the kill switch. The kill switch to gender. No, not even. Not even. It was a rope break. His left arm was right under the rope. Almost had the wind there. Oh, and another bell clap. Oh, 
Oh, man. And now look at this. Oh! And another cord buster. Jinder Mahal rolls out of the ring. But Jinder Mahal comes right back in. Jinder Mahal. Oh! Give him that rebound. Gut buster there right onto the rope. He missed the kick. Oh, what the heck? Christian just pulled a zigzag, I think. Did he just do the dizzy? What the? Two. And now Jenna Ball kicks that out too. Christian looked like he just did a, a zigzag to Mahal. And now look at this. Christian. Gaining momentum with those close on there. Tilt to well. Backbreaker. Could this be it for Mahal? Right hand. Mahal's days in a hard European of a cut. Oh, here we go. Oh, uh, wait. Look at this. Look at this. Pulling homage. From Muhammad Hassan. What the heck with the camera clutch to Captain Charisma? I'm very surprised he actually did that. And now Jenna Mahal with the net breaker. Wicks him in the eyes. Kristen rolls back out in the ring and comes back in. And that's standard drop to gender. Go for the pin. One, two, and Jinder Mahal kicks it at two. My goodness. What a match between these two so far. Oh, and another bell clap. That's the third one. And now Christian sends Jinder Mahal right to the ropes. Christian go for that to Captain Cater. And he got it. So ladies and gentlemen, Benjamin and Gable are the number contenders for the Raw Tag Team titles. And now look at this kill switch. Cover. One. Two. Three. And it's over, folks. Christian. It's the winner of this match. And yes, indeed, Kristen takes the win on Jinder Mahal, folks. What a victory. And right now, coming up next is a non-title match between Charlotte Flair and Mia Yim. And Christian has gotten the win for all his peeps. All right, folks, and now it is time. And here he is. The number one contender, the very team dream. Yes, indeed, the very team dream will be taking on Drew McIntyre for the Intercontinental Championship at SummerSlam. But remember, folks, Alistair Black will be waiting at Spring Showdown. Whoever is the Intercontinental Champion of the Dream or the Scottish Psychopath himself. Because Asa Black does not forget 
he hasn't forget of what Drew McIntyre has done to him before Money in the Bank and the match that they had with each other. And yes, indeed. So ladies and gentlemen, my question is, who is Velveteen Dream going to fight? That, I do not know. King of Bros, Matt Riddle. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be Matt Riddle taking on the Velveteen Dream here on Raw. I wonder how this is going to turn out between these two. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's Drew McIntyre. What the heck is he doing here? Wait, there's a chair outside. I don't know why, but look like Drew McIntyre's gonna sit here and enjoy the show up close and personal. Here we go, Riddle taking on, oh, Riddle was trying to go for that knee, he was trying to go for that running bicycle knee, but Dream attacked him with a clothesline from behind, my god, and now Riddle getting that knee right to this midsection and a axe handle right across the back by the Dream, and now the Riveting Dream with the kick right onto the back, Oh, and a hard right. Probably a haymaker there. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> I'm sorry. A side axe handle, and look at that, and another one. Right to the chest. And now, Dream grabs onto Riddle. Right across the midsection, lifting him up with a gut wrench. And look at this, the hard strikes. Back and forth by Riddle. But the Dream getting the momentum. The dream with the clothesline. And look at this. Oh, wait. Give him the disrespect. And now the dream attacking Riddle. Oh, man. Dream arguing with Drew McIntyre. And now look at this. Look at this. Oh! And the Velveteen Dream seen that coming by Riddle as he ran into Drew McIntyre. And now the dream. Takes Riddle right back inside the ring. And look at that standing leg drop. The standing leg drop takes on Riddle. And now look at this. And now, backbreaker. My God. And a dream with the arch to the corner. 
And look at this. Oh, Bronson off the second rope at the corner with a cross body. Look at this. Dream Valley driver. To the Velvet team. I mean, I mean to Matt Riddle, I'm sorry. Two. And Matt Riddle kicks out at two. Oh, got him with the super kick. Oh, and a hard boot to the face. And look at this. The dream. Seducting himself. And Matt Riddle. As he grabs himself at the corner. Now he's getting that boot to the face. Oh. As he was getting pushed by that boot. And look at this. Oh. Riddle. Got him with the snap man. A kick right onto the back. Little kick right to the left leg. Oh. And then. Left jab. Oh! Here we go. Oh, wait, no. He grabs the foot. Look at this. Oh, it takes down Matt Riddle. My goodness. What the heck? Dream. Oh, wait, wait. Look at this. Walking with him. Oh, backbreaker. Oh, wait, he's walking him again. He still got him. Oh, and another backbreaker. Two riddle. Uh-oh. Here we go. Dream up top. Going high. Oh, got him with the money shot splash. I thought he's going to go for the purple rainmaker. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Dream Valley Driver again. Could this be it? One, two, three. No! It is not over. It is not over, folks. And a hard right hand. Oh, and a bow to the face to widow again. And the dream has done it again. Look at this. Go for it another time. Dream. Uh oh. He's going up top. Purple Rainmaker. To Matt Riddle. One, two, three. It is over. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and now we are back. Now it is time for Raw Women's Action with the Raw Women's Champion in a non-title match. The is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from the Queen City, the Raw Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. So yes, indeed, Charlotte Flair, who has been having that World Women's Championship since the Elimination Chamber. She came second place at the Royal Rumble match. Gotten a title shot, my friends, against Nikki Bella. And then all of a sudden, at WrestleMania, it was the same family name, different rivalry, new generation. It was a McMahon taking on Flair. It was Charlotte Flair taking on Stephanie McMahon at Mania. Indeed, Mia Yim. So 
So don't forget, folks. It, it will be Extreme Rules at SummerSlam between Charlotte Flair and Bianca Belair for the World Women's Championship. taking on Yim. Oh, and by the way, folks, I don't care if this turns into a draw, okay? I'm just letting you know that right now. So Charlotte Fair with that knee drop. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Here comes the EST of the WWE. Bianca Belair. And look at this, oh, 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 Bianca Bella comes out of nowhere. Got it with the EST. The EST to Charlotte Flair. And Mia Yim. And Mia Yim is trying to. Wait, 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 she's, she's getting up. Dragon Charlotte Flair, can she get the win like that? Can she get the win like that? One, and no, not even a one! Wow! She, she kicked out like nothing happened. Mia Yim took forever to pin Charlotte Flair. Oh, oh! Stands got kicked right onto the back, but I guess this match is going to continue. Look at this. Oh, and a suplex. To me, yeah. Look at this. Oh. Shoulder flag takes down Yem with the leg sweep. Oh, kick by Mia. Oh, got her with the, with the spinning heel kick. And look at this. Look at this, Mia Yim, with the strikes into that Pele. And now I'll go for the pin on Charlotte, one, and a kick out. And this time she kicks that at one. And now Mia Yim with the snap mirror. Kick right onto the back. Snap mirror again, kick right onto the back for the second time. And look at this, oh, and a gut right suplex. Charlotte Flair rolls out to the apron, holding on to the ropes. And look at this, Miriam's not playing a game. She wants Flair in the ring. One, and a kick out. Look at this, oh. Mia Yim. And that suplex it again and another snap it and a kick. I don't know when she's gonna do her protect her neck. Look at these strikes. Oh, and another one. Mia Yim's just taking over Charlotte. Oh wait, nope, never mind. I hate it when I smoke too soon. Charlotte Flair carrying Mia Yim right to the top turnbuckle with the snake eyes. Oh, and that running knee right to the head. From the corner. And now look at this, the abdominal stretch grabbing the foot, the ankle. Applying even more damage. Look at this, Yim with the hip toss. Now me Yim. Look at this, and a little bit of a stall there with that vertical suplex. And a gut wrench. Another gut wrench. Oh, 
here, Charlotte Flair with the spear to Mia. And now Flair going for the pin. One. And oh, wait, no, Mia, you have kicked out of it. Kick to the gut. This could be over with the natural selection to Mia. And she got it. She got all of it. Here we go with the action. This by Charlotte. So she's not even going. I but she's not going to go for the pin like last time. And now uh, with the combat, with those clothes lines. Take Charlotte Flair right back in the ring. Well, Flair was about to do something to her. And now here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Oh! Package. Sit out. Power bomb. One, two, three. No! No, Miriam almost had the win there. She almost had the win there, folks. And now look at this. Look at this, protect your neck, connects to flare, cover, one, two, three, and it's over, folks. Mia Yim is the winner of this match. All thanks to the extra damage to Bianca Belair, well, not to Bianca Belair, but from Bianca Belair with the EST. But my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for our next matchup of Randy Orton. And action. All right, folks, and now we are back. And there he is. The Apex Predator. The Viper. The following contest is scheduled for The man with the most three letters of his name. The RKO, folks. Or should I say the three most devastating words in the WWE. So yes, indeed. Okay, what? What just happened? I've just seen a Firefly front house. I don't know what's the, I don't know what's going on, but he just interrupted the the TV feed. Doing Randy Orton's entrance. What the heck? But anyway, folks. Man doing this in action. But we don't know who he'll be taking on. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, it's Kane! Ladies and gentlemen, look like it's the big red machine. Kane has returned yet again. He did this last month, probably two months ago. I don't remember. He's here, folks. Here we go. 
Oh! Got him with a release spine muster there. By Kane. Giving that standing leg jumper now. Kane going for the, going for the pin on Orton. These two men has fought each other multiple times over the years. Oh! And another standing leg jump to Randy. Now Kane with the snap man. A running big boot. By Kane. Backstage Randy did say that he will be taking on anyone tonight. And that's what he said before the show even started. And now look at this. Oh! My goodness. Look at this. Oh! And another really spine buster tour in one. And a kick out. And doing this up. And now look at this. Oh, and now you open up a cut to Kane, but that did not phase the big red machine. Irish ripped to the corner. Randy Orton. Oh! You pin up a cut again, but that didn't work. And now Kane with that bad hug to Randy. Applying pressure to the back, the waist, and the stomach. Look at this. Giving him the elbows and a bell clap just to escape. Oh, let's go for the RKO. No! Kane counters it into a clothesline. Randy Orton was just about to do the RKO out of nowhere. But Kane knows Randy Orton very too well. So Kane is not falling for that. Oh, Kane with the, the knee shot right to the side of the head. Kane with the miss section. With the kick. Look like he's going for a power bomb. Oh yes! Look like he just pulled a jackknife power bomb. I think the way he let him go. Arcane okay, just rolls over. Randy Orton going for that drop kick. I mean, <laughs> not drop kick. He went for the leg drop again. One, two, and a kick out. We got three minutes in. Five seconds. Oh, oh, wait, wait. A oh, oh, Look at this. The claw. The claw to Orton. Is he going to make Randy Orton pass out from it? The face claw. Oh, my God. I haven't seen that move in a while. Two, three. Oh. Oh. Holy crap, Randy Orton kicked out of it at the nick of time, but now Randy Orton slowly getting up. Kane getting ready. Put a choke slam, and there we go. He got it this time. Choke slam to Randy Orton. And now the cover. One, two, and Randy Orton kicks out. Randy Orton kicks out. Randy Orton kicks out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Came with the bear hug. Yet again. To the apex predator. And he lets go. And now look at this. Oh, got him with the sidewalk slam. Go for the pin again. One, two, and no. Orton kicks out. Randy Orton says no to that sidewalk slam. And I guess right hand by Orton. Oh, wait, going for the 
Big complicator. You can hear the fast chanting for Randy Orton. Oh! The, the European Uppercut has taken down Kane this time. And a hard chop. Randy Orton, look at this. Look at this! On the top rope! Instead of the middle rope, look at this! Oh! Hangman DDT! This time from the top rope! I guess Randy Orton had no choice but to do it. Because he was too heavy. One, two, and Kane! Kane! Kane kicks out at two! He kicks out at two, folks! Look at this. Oh, KO! Pop up on KO! Holy crap! And now he's going for the pin. One, two, three, and it's over. And Randy Orton is the winner of this matchup. And Randy Orton is the winner of this match. Wow. Given the RKO, a mid-air RKO, and also that knee strike to add it to the bucket list right there, folks. All right, folks, and now it is time for the main event. Strowman, who literally considered himself as number contender for the World Championship due to the screw job that he had because of uh, Andrade last month when he cashed it in, in the middle of the match between him and Roman. So the manager did give him the spot to take out Roman in a proper one-on-one -on -one match this time. Club for this man. The, it's the it's the giant taking on the Valina midget. 
folks. Here we go. Balor taking on Braun one on one. Here we go. Oh! Braun Shumman with the field throw. What a cost to the corner of the ring. Now look at this. These two big fists applying pressure right onto the head of the temples of Finn Balor. Look at this. Oh, and another throw. My God. Look at this. Another throw. My God, Braun. That's the third throw in a row. You know, Finn Balor, and then he gets the ropes on a hard right hand. Look at this. Oh, and a headbutt. Right off to Finn Balor. Finn Balor rolls out to the apron, holding himself, getting himself up on the ropes. And now, look at this. Oh, takes him over. Right back inside as he flips him. And now, look at this. Brushman got the foot right onto the stomach and walked him over. Jesus. Oh. Finn Balor getting hit by that axe handle. Two. 